we got a two-part report to chunk our fight mission here we're really we're facing the reaper but this nice view though damn that sun and that green stuff this plan is actually looking good Completely good fallout game are we sure about this if i was organic that would probably burn just keep moving stick to cover <laughs> just don't get shot work? i can't believe we're actually doing this don't stop Commander, this is Artemis Queen. We'll try to give that Reaper something else to shoot at. Goddess, be with them. Their timing is impeccable. Go! Let's push ahead! Let's go, let's go, let's go. Over <laughs> on our left, one of the hammers. The other one is on the right. Getting to them is another matter entirely. The hell was that? Oh boy. Don't worry, we got a Krieg up. Damn it. No. Guess I should just book it and run for it. Really? That didn't seem fair. Oh. Over on our left, one of the hammers. The other one is on the right. Get into them. This shit. It's another matter entirely. I need to defeat them first before I can do this. Is that how this works? The hell was that? Oh, you fell on me. Oh boy. You have to look out for that. Mort, we hit the first hammer. How's it coming? Almost half cure. Eve's vital signs dropping. Trying to compensate. The second hammer's on the other side. <gasps> Jesus. Shepard, get that second hammer going. There's a reaper in my way, Rex. <laughs> uh, I don't want to get stumped again. Go! Get back to the truck! I'll take care of the cure! That the visuals. Oof. Not a 4K update. For cutscenes coming in quite nice. Selectless Shepherd kicking Reaper ass.
Morton, is the cure ready? Yes. Loaded for dispersal in two minutes. Procedure traumatic for Eve, but not lethal. Malin's research invaluable. She's okay? Headed to safety now. Her survival fortunate. We'll stabilize new government should Rex get any ideas. Good match. Promising future for Krogan. Damn! Control room at top of Shroud Tower. Must take elevator up. You're going up there? Yes. Readings at lab suggest temperature malfunction. Could affect cure viability. Need to adjust settings manually. It's not a malfunction. It's sabotage. Your people did it years ago. Of course. Shroud necessary for distribution. STG would have backup plan, contingency to stop cure. And you knew. The Dalatras offered me a deal. Her full support for the Crucible project. Difficult moral circumstance. Solarian assistance reluctant. Minimal. Need their loyalty for intel. Assistance with Crucible. Understandable, but not acceptable. We'll not sacrifice Krogan for political gain. Every time we've talked about this before, you've defended the Genophage. Hell, I had to talk you into saving Malin's data. How can you change your mind now? I made a mistake! I made a mistake. Focused on big picture. Big picture made of little pictures. Too many variables. Can't hide behind statistics. Can't ignore new data. My responsibility. Need to go. Running out of time. Morden. Walk away. Can't do that, Shepard. I don't have a choice here. Walk away, or I will fire. Not your decision. Not your work. Not your cure. Had to be me. Someone else might have gotten it wrong. No time to argue. Cure dispersal imminent. Must counteract sabotage. Stop me if you must. Ugh, oh, damn it. No. No. That's not a good solution, though. Damn, this takes forever. Ah, oh, damn it. Should've saved beforehand. Oh. Mm. <laughs> Throw the trash ego away. It's an autosave. Ah, oh, damn it. Oh. I could've sworn there's a good way to do this. A long time ago, my father betrayed me in this place, his own son. He tried to kill me, so I had to kill him, right over there. That's what the genophage reduced us to, animals. But you changed that today, Shepard. Now we'll fight for our children, not against them. It's just a pity Morden had to die. Ah. <laughs> Can't reload it, probably. Oh. He told me he had to do it. 
Someone else might have gotten it wrong. He got it right for everyone. A thousand years from now, we'll probably be singing songs about him. <laughs> I'm sure he'd like that. But you, Commander, we can thank you in person. Tell the Turians I'll be deploying troops to Palavan immediately. And when you're ready to kick the Reapers off Earth, you let me know. The Krogan are back in business. Goodbye, Commander. What will you do now? Spread the hope you've given us. Even now, there are clans gathering in the Kelphic Valley. I'll go speak to them and make sure this gift isn't squandered. Thank you for all that you've done. And know that Erdnot Bakara calls you a friend. That's not what I wanted. Not at all. Hell of a thing you just pulled off, Commander. Curing the Genophage? I never thought I'd see the day. Rex has agreed to help the Turians, Admiral. We should get their full support. I take it that leaves the Solarians out of the equation. The cost of their support was too high, sir. Well, I'll defer to your judgment on that, Commander. Let's hope we don't need them. Pack it out. Commander, Erdnot Rex has begun sending troops to Palavan. You kept your end of the bargain, and now I'll keep mine. The Turian hierarchy will stand with humanity against the Reapers. We're going to need you. Don't forget where we live. Never. It's clear we all fight together, or die. To that end, several dry dock ships are ready to help build the Crucible. Garrus will coordinate them. Yes, sir. And when the time comes to deploy it, the full measure of our fleet will be there for Earth. May the spirits watch over us all. Ooh. I'll start managing Turian support right away, Shepard. You must be exhausted. Morden dying... It can't be easy. I'll sleep when I'm dead. We both know you need a clear head to win a war. There's no room for mistakes here. You should catch some shut-eye. I'll make sure Joker doesn't launch any suicide missions. Anything happens, you let me know. Ugh. Not the ending I wanted for Morden. Damn it. I failed. Now we we'll see him in my dreams. Yep. I knew it. Damn you. Oh. Definitely would never shoot him. Never. Gonna have a talk with me. Grant in that picture. Oh, yeah.
It's open. Shepard, there's something you need to hear. All right. Is this a bad time? Thinking of some friends who aren't around thanks to this war. That's thanks to the Reapers, not you. Are you thinking about anyone in particular? Caden? Miss Morden? No one I want to talk about right now. I understand. Didn't you have something for me? The Solarian Counselor has an urgent matter. Let me guess. He called the comm room? The Council must be taking the Crucible seriously. I'll see you downstairs. Oh, I don't have a choice, okay. Commander, there is something we should discuss if you are finished rewriting history. I made my decision, Counselor. There's not much anyone can do about it now. Yes. We're going to have billions more Krogan in the galaxy. It's a good thing you saved my life once, Shepard. Otherwise, well, I have concerns about humanity's representative, Counselor Udina. My agents have discovered that he's using his authority to move vast sums of money. For what purpose? We're not sure. If Adina's dirty, it's best we get to the bottom of it fast. Agreed. Come to the Citadel. We will review the evidence and discuss this in private. Valorn out. Already. Oh my god. Commander Shepard, something you need to talk about? No. Nothing more, sir. Keep me posted. Hack it out. No. Ah, oh, damn it, Morden. Just walk away. I've got have sworn there's an option to make him walk away. Maybe I just needed to lie to him and not tell him about the, you know. Taking down the Reaper? Man, I wish I could have been there. I'm just glad the diplomats are off the ship. A Krogan and a Turian in the same room is a fight waiting to happen. Mm. Commander, Admiral Hackett has requested your help with a Cerberus fighter base on Navaria. The Turians have given us top level access to their combat data. Their ships are already moving in to help the Alliance fleet. You actually secured a Krogan Turian alliance. It's one thing to hear about Commander Shepard. It's another to see him in action. Commander? Yeah, I need music. Background music. For the rest of the episode. Oh, not what I wanted. Not the outcome I wanted at all. Ambience, Atomic Heart. Right, let's go talk to Chokani. Damn it. Damn it. People are dying already. All right, my turn. What's the first order an Alliance commander gives at the start of combat? Uh, I give up. <laughs> Correct. <laughs> All right, big guy. What do you call it when a Turian gets killed by a horrible spiky monster? Friendly fire. Come on, that one goes back to Shang-Chi. You gotta respect the classics. How many humans does it take to activate a dormant mass relay? 602. 600 to vote on it, one to ask the Asari for technical help, and one to request a seat on the council afterward. How do you know when a Turian's out of ammo? He switches to the stick up his ass as a backup weapon. Why does the Alliance hire pilots with brittle bone disease? You're, you're shitting me! The Turian military has one about me? Oh, absolutely. I heard it myself from a private back on Palavin. All right, why does the Alliance hire pilots with brittle bone disease? So their Marines can beat someone in hand-to-hand -hand drills. <laughs> Damn, you need to tell James that one. Hey, what's the hardest part about treating a Turian who took a rocket to one side of his face? Figuring out which side took the rocket. <sighs> Never thought I'd see the Krogan and the Turians team up. Even the Reapers have to be a little nervous about pissing them off. I'd say more than a little. 
I'm sorry about Morden. Oh. He was a good man. Yeah, he was always running those tests. And one time he tagged me in the middle of the night to ask how many livers humans had. And this bump on my elbow? He said it was just a mild bone deformation, but I'm pretty sure he stuck a probe in there. Glad it was just your elbow. I always thought he was crazy. Useful, but crazy. Then he gives up his own life. <laughs> to save the Krogan. Doesn't do much to disprove the crazy theory, huh? <laughs> I guess not. But he was one of ours. So now that we got the Krogan and the Turians, what now? The Krogan help us turn the tide on Palavin. They can shoot at something useful for a change. Dig till we hit daylight, huh? Works for me. So how does it feel knowing Krogan will be singing songs about you until the end of time? I think it would be an honor. I almost tried to do them wrong, but I wanted it badly. To be honest, I did it so the Krogan would help your people. And believe me, it won't be forgotten. Our fleets will be there for Earth. I'll make sure of it. I know you will. And let's hope Rex keeps running the show on Tachanka. Maybe we should hire a food taster for him. Imagine the carnage if some young, hot-headed Krogan took over. It could happen. I know, it's a chance we have to take, but I have to say, if it wasn't my own world that needed the help, I might have looked for a way out. Oh, I can be honest to him. The Solarians tried. If I had sabotaged the cure, they would have helped build the Crucible. Oh, that's nasty, even for them. I admire your restraint, Shepard. It's nice when we can save the galaxy uh -huh. without destroying another race along the way. Uh-huh. Oh, uh, yep. Let's hope our luck holds. Oh, uh, yep. I will have bad dreams about that. Because I definitely wanted it. What is it? Bad. Bad. Commander, Chief Engineer Adams would like to speak with you down in engineering. Really? Who would have thought? Oh, who here? Is Amaro here already? No. Let's just look around, see if there's anybody useful. Nope. Nope, 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 nope. Okay, Liara. You're next. Next in line. Any sign of life? The Reaper destroyed by the Thresher Maw appears to be completely inert, Doctor. We would need to send in teams to be sure. Out of the question. Tell the Krogan to stay away. Genophage cured. The Krogan have no reason to hold back now, do they? Rex knows what he's doing, but can he keep the Krogan in check? Or will this be the start of another Krogan empire? Eve's organizing the female Krogan. She reminds me of some of the more formidable matriarchs I've known. The Krogan won't let themselves fall by the wayside again. Not like they did after the rebellions. I hope the Krogan live up to their ancient legacy. And for the better. Oh, that is too much. No, you study them. Enjoy your day. No. No one in here. There is one pin here. Makes sense. It's upstairs. Messing with Joker. Engineering. Genophage cure, huh? This beats the hell out of reporting on the Milgram City Council. I don't think I've heard of Milgram. Which planet is that again? Beckenstein. It's right next door to the Citadel. I'm a colony kid. Commander, got a minute? What do you want to know? No. You've just implemented a cure for the Genophage. Millions of Krogan will start fighting the Reapers. What do you say to people who think humanity is starting another Rachni war and Krogan rebellions? We all know our history, but this isn't 1400 years ago. But if the Genophage is gone, what makes these Krogan different from the ones that rebelled? The Krogan have no warships. 
If the Reapers focus on them, they could be wiped out. Combining their infantry with the Turian fleet is a huge asset. And both parties know it. Are you aware that Clan Erdnot is already petitioning the Council for an embassy and rights to a colony world? The Krogan are coming to the aid of a Council homeworld. That's more than a lot of species can say. I help them get the genophage cure. Anything more is between the Council and the Krogan. There it is, straight from Commander Shepard. Until tomorrow, this is Diana Allers. Good night and stay strong. Okay, I'll cut that together with the rest of the segment and send it to command for approval. That camera quality is trash cool. It's trash. Let's see, engineers there. I'll never take Javik with me. Just too many mods and armors. Sorry, bro. Commander. You settling in, Javik? I believe some of the crew wishes to be my friend. That is not my purpose here. Also, I find I need to wash my hands. The residue of the ship is strong. How so? I have been exploring. There are traces of those who lived on the Normandy before. I detected a human female. Her genetic structure was unnatural, as if artificially created. Mm. Sounds like Miranda. And a drill. There was illness in him. Pain. And a Krogan who lived in these quarters. He was undergoing a metamorphosis. His memories were confused, not organic to his mind. There was great confusion and turmoil. I still can't wrap my head around that. We're reading information like you do. For my people, it was as natural as breathing. Evolution's an amazing force. Our scientists believed it was the only force in the galaxy that mattered. They called it the cosmic imperative. The strong flourished. The weak perished. The governments of your cycle seem concerned with ensuring the survival of all. Yeah. Yeah. What's it called? There's a law. I'll think of it while he talks. Was this imperative just your scientist's opinion? Or did they prove something we don't know? The universe had already proven it. They only had to look around. And saw what exactly? Extinction is the rule of law in the cosmos. The natural order of things. The weakest species are doomed. Charles Darwin. Something like that. We can't afford any weak links in this war. They drain our resources. They can become a resource of their own. How? Oh. If the Reapers are busy conquering the weak, they are not watching you. So, use them as a distraction. All strategies must be considered, and few are too extreme. Though I do not think your Asari approves of my beliefs. Liara? I think she just had a different idea about what Protheans were like. We are all a product of our time. Had I been born in this cycle, perhaps I would be the noble scholar she wishes me to be. Maybe. Or maybe you'd still be a soldier. I do wonder sometimes. Living a life of constant war, taking life in every battle. Does it get to you? It shapes me. A stone is shaped by the one who carves it. This stone has no choice in the form it will take. You and I, Commander. War is our sculptor. And we are prisoners to its design. Maybe not much longer. We win this, and we'll both be set free. That's all. Nice talk, though. You have killed a Reaper. I would like to have seen it. No matter. There will be more. Plenty oh, more. I'm sorry. Yes. A difficult fight remains. In your position, I would have offered the Salarian leader a deal. Oh? You only had to make the Krogan believe you cured their disease. They are too stupid to know the difference. The Salarians would have been grateful and rewarded you. Both would have served you at the same time. I know. Morality and friendship do not matter now. Your allies are simply resources to use against the Reapers. Oh, rub it in. They tell me I should kill... What? I've killed Morden? No. If the Krogan seek retribution for the past, do not waste time on sterility plagues. Destroy them where they stand. In the meantime, they are useful cannon fodder against the Reapers. Oh. Do not care what others think. 
Do what you must. Do not care what others think. Do what you must. Such positive influence that we have him. Okay, let's talk. Edie doesn't pilot the Normandy. She is the Normandy. No, she's a passenger in the Normandy, just like us. The ship was a spacefaring vessel before Edie even existed. Engineer Donnelly is correct. The Normandy SR2 was completely spaceworthy prior to my installation. See, Edie agrees with me. Edie's mind and the Normandy are a whole entity now. You couldn't just move the processors in the AI core to another ship. Engineer Adams is correct. Processes that contribute to my self-awareness. Edie can direct the Normandy with her thoughts. She sees, hears, and feels through the ship's sensor arrays. The Normandy is her body. I've seen Edie's body, and its curves are a fine sight better than the Normandy's hull. So what do you think, Edie? Are we more than our thoughts? I'm done. Any more of this and my head's gonna explode. Oh. Adams would like to speak to you. You should go see Adams, Commander. <laughs> Commander, remember the problem I mentioned about a core overload possibly venting into the engineering compartment? No. Daniels, Donnelly, Edie, and I have been brainstorming and comparing notes. You see, the venting occurs when IES sinks are in a back cycle. At the same moment, the main core is at peak draw, such as from sustained kinetic... Oof, what Kenneth means to say is that we're pretty sure we can make the system safer. We just need a GX-12 thermal pipe. Unfortunately, we're cut off from Alliance supply chains. Could you keep an eye out for one the next time you're on the Citadel, Commander? I've got the specs right here. Oh, sure. I'll look for one next time we go to the Citadel. Thanks, Commander. So? Sometimes keeping the grid balanced is pure murder. Shepard? Cool. Okay, only Vega to talk to. Nah. Yeah. And then the episode is over. Better have something good to say, Mr. Vega. Babes. You think that cure they dispersed could do anything to us? We're not going to start growing scales or anything, right? Oh, God. Maybe now that we have the Krogan on board, we can go back to fighting the Reapers. Shut up. I was looking at the specs on that Reaper you took out on Tachanka. That was one of the small ones? Don't get me wrong, it's still dead, but damn. There was nothing small about it. Hey. Hey. Oh, okay. That wasn't interesting. What not great. It's the Riga. Riga, Riga can go F itself. Is it an N7 Riga? Oh my god, there's so much in there. I will find it. Peace out. We're done.